Hey, hi! Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel, where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it is wonderful to be back here with you today, showing off more Cast Out Colony. This is a charming little bullet heaven slash colony creation sim and you know what this is just good old-fashioned fun out here you can come in you can beat the hell out of rocks you can kill some weeds while you're out here you can rip out some grass that's in the way of your building process right you know that nasty grass you know the kind i'm talking about so what we're going to do is continue showing off. Ooh, look at this. Certain structures will have companions that will aid you in an arena. Unlock companion slots using flower coins. Whoa. There are two types of companions. Companions that deal damage to enemies. Companions that support you without dealing damage. Companions become stronger with your colony's enrichment level. Oh, we're going to have to put down more of those, uh, more of those little night lights, right? Very cool. Please note, while in early access, character models may not match character designs. Well, that's fine. That's fine. So, let's open up one of these slots. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so can we put... Oh, look at this guy. The Iron Chad. We can bring him in? Oh, this is wonderful. All right, so... I believe we have a buddy coming in with us. Why don't we go to this first area now that we're a little bit more powered up and we'll see if we can get through the zone. Is, oh, Iron Chad is in here with us. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is very exciting. This is very exciting. Okay. So if you were here with us last time, uh, you know, we got in here, we had some runs, we built some buildings, and uh, we had a pretty outstanding time doing that. And so today, we're going to try some new active skills. Throw a mushroom in a random direction creates damaging spores upon hitting ground. Yes, we're going to we're going to throw some mushrooms out there. We're going to create some spores. Uh you know, we're going to have a great time doing it. I'll I'll tell you that much. Uh, if this is your first time seeing the game, it's wonderful. That's all you have to know. It's uh, it's pretty great. This is going to come out in early access on April eighth, and so far I'm I'm having a pretty decent time with it. And now we've got companions. Old Iron Chad is out here with us. Our trainer, actually helping us by running back and forth into dudes. Throw five firecrackers in random directions. That uh, sounds pretty pretty good. Ooh, one additional projectile in base area up by 30%. That sounds great. Chad just never gets tired, does he? That's, uh, that's pretty decent. Okay. Here's the other thing that's really cool that we're doing. Uh, we're going to be giving away a few copies of the game. And so if you'd like to get in on the giveaway, uh, all you need to do is be subscribed and leave a comment. And I will pick a few of you across the different videos that we're doing on the game to win a copy. And uh, thank you in advance because you're helping with our goal of giving away 200 games this year. That's what we're trying to do out here. Love doing giveaways. Love growing the community with more excellent people. So join us out here. It's uh, it's fun. Turns out, it's it's fun. It's a good time out here. I, you got to take my word for it, of course. But I, I'm I am a trustworthy goat. Just ask anybody here. They'll they'll tell you.
And cheers to you, by the way. I'm, I'm not going to stop right now to take a sip because, uh, well, now I will. Now I will. Hmm. You know, Easter happened. And my daughter bought me two bags of coffee from one of my favorite local roasters. I'm very excited to tell you more about these bags once I get into them. Um, currently, I am drinking that Pete's Medium Roast that I've, I've talked a little bit about. It's uh, that single origin, and it's quite nice. Nuttiness, chocolate, really, really nice flavor notes. Okay. Currently drinking it hot, but I've got a little bit in the fridge as well. I'm going to hit that up this afternoon. Yes, folks, Easter happened in a big way. My my wife found this, I, I think it's called Spaceship Candy. Have you heard of this stuff? Spaceship Candy. It's freeze-dried candy. What a time, folks. Freeze-dried candy, okay? Um, you know, it, it takes all your favorite candies and it makes them into this uh, this breakable stuff that, you know, it's like, makes it really hard and then it kind of breaks in your mouth while you crunch it and you go, oh my God, I hope that's not a tooth. You know, like if you're my age, that's what you, you go, oh my God. Oh my God, is that my tooth? And then you go, no, tooth doesn't taste like blue raspberry. Surely, right? Right? Um, you're with me, right? So, I, this, this morning, this morning, I had a freeze-dried blue raspberry airhead. And you know what it's like? It's like, it's like if you somehow were able to take in every particle of sugar in an airhead all at once, all at the same time. That's kind of what this is like. And uh, it's a wonderful thing, I, I have to tell you. It, it is uh, it is glorious. So um, I, if, if you are a candy fiend, uh, if you like the sugar, I would encourage you to, to take a look at Spaceship Candy. Yeah, you can get just a, a whole crap ton of this stuff all at once. Just shipped out to your home. And and it even looks like a damn spaceship. It's pretty neat. I'm not going to lie to you. It's pretty neat. Uh, base damage up by 10. Leaves last 0.5 seconds longer. Yes. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. All right. So, so a lot of candy happened. Uh, just one piece for me. Um, you know, because it's the morning, right? A little bit of a sugar overload um, by, by 10 a.m. Is, is not the greatest thing, it turns out. But, but it was worth it to try it, I think. I think. All right, we are in wave seven. Uh, I'm quite happy about that. I will say, the time seems to just fly uh, in, in this game. Alright. Let's go with some base damage up for the acorn. I think the acorn's pretty good. I've, I've taken a liking to that. I like how it just smashes down from the sky. You know, speaking of that, I was at a Best Buy the other day, and, you know, Best Buy has those arcade one-up machines. You've seen those, right? You know what I'm talking about. So they had, uh, they had Mortal Kombat. And, of course, I'm there with my, my older daughter, and, uh, you know, I, I, she's never played Mortal Kombat. 
that's that's uh it's before her time and you know the newer ones it's still that that's a little over her head uh, i don't need the whole violence thing uh at, at that level for her yet um yeah you gotta work your way up to that type of violence right so um ooh, look at this look at this we're gonna use this on this dude Okay, that was that was great. Ooh, that took him out fast. Nice. So I thought I'd, you know, show off my skills. I, I went with, uh, we, we did like the two-on-two -two thing that you can do. And I went with uh, Cabal, you know, an old favorite, because he can do the, 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 I'm running so fast, I'm going to spin you up thing. Uh, let, ooh, base area by 100%. That's a, that's a pretty... Decent size increase. Um, and so I went with Cabal and Shiva. And I thought, oh man, I'm just gonna. This is gonna be a massacre, right? And uh, so I, you know, I quickly remembered Shiva's capability where she flies up and then slams down, and I started doing that. And uh, you know, my daughter said that was unfair. Um, which just made me continue doing that over and over again. But wouldn't you know, she still beat me. I I was shocked. I was shocked to the core. But I was happy for her. But I was sad for me at the same time. So it was kind of a happy sad. Um, but I'll tell you what. I had a good time with the arcade one-up machine. I, I don't think I'd want to own one. Um, I think I'd rather just, you know, have them as console games on a, on a television or, you know, via PC, whatever. But I think they're cool for the nostalgia for a second. We'll go with an additional projectile. Why not? All right, wave 10. Uh, if I'm being honest, I, I don't know how many waves there are in this game. But, uh, man, the enemies are, they are dropping, aren't they? Well, let's see what happens if we can get through wave 10. I am going to try my damnedest. I hope we need to get up in the middle here we'll grab some of these. Maybe this is a heart. Nope. Holy moly. Oh, we're almost there. This is going to be really close. I used my roll, too. Okay, so there's a wave 11. So at least we know that. Um, base damage up by, ooh, another 100% of area. Yeah, let's let's do that. I mean, you know you're going to nail multiple with that kind of area. Okay, so Big Ugly is uh, back out here. We're just out of health. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hey, we got a new skill called Velocity. New skill Sharpen. Okay. Got some fl a lot of flower coins, actually. So we are going to go visit the Iron Chad after we take a sip of coffee, of course. Right, take a sip, and uh, we're gonna go have some protein powder. Sub small one, yes. Yeah, we're looking to get big, big swole. Uh, let's do some health, right? What does this do? Workout, a thousand. Oh, you've reached the next level. Seed Bob, wait a second. So, are we going to start at level two with that skill when we go in to our next run? I wonder what that means. We're going to have to see what that means. Um, well, let's go speed. Let's do that. I'm, I'm not sure what any of these are. If you hover over them, uh, there's no indication unless tab. Oh, there we go. Okay, folks. I just had to hit the tab button, that's all. Um, armor, projectiles, luck, 
Flower coins. Right, right, right. Okay, flower coins, of course. Well, let's do recovery. I think that's pretty damn important. Let's do attack. And, oh, cooldown. Yeah, cooldown is pretty dang important. I think I'm going to put one more into speed. Oh, this would have been great, too. Okay. All right, we're going to... So this says... Yeah, this says we're level two now. So... Uh, let's see what we get out of that. Let's give another try to that same area. We're going to go with old Iron Chad. And I'd like to see if we can beat that nasty spider once and for all. You know what I mean? All right. It just feels great to come in after getting a little bit stronger and then just see if you can get further with the skills. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things about roguelites, right? Just giving yourself a little bit more oomph to see if that can get you there. I, I love it. I've been playing a lot of Dead Cells lately, as some of you know, and had a funny comment the other day from Sabi B. I'm gonna I'm gonna call Sabi out here. Um, you know, Sabi said, "Who who is this? Who is this playing this game? This 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 goat is speed running." The goat is remembering to fire off skills. Who is this? Look at this, sharpen, uncommon passive skill. Inflicted damage increased by 10%. Let's do that. It's a nice passive to have. Just kind of affects everything across the board. It's great. And then of course, Sabi said, oh, wait a second, acid spray, when dashing, Throw four short distance projectiles around the character. That's cool. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. That looks great. Okay. That looks great. Um, Sabi said, oh, but you know, then the goat landed on the spikes, and then the goat did this, and then the goat, and then I knew it was the goat playing again. And, uh, that, that made me laugh quite a bit, so thank you for that. And in fact, I, I read that out loud to uh, my family, and they all they all cracked up too. So uh, you win at the internet, Sabi. You were you were you were quite quite hilarious in your comments. I, I I really look forward to the comments. I don't always respond right away anymore because thankfully our our community has grown. There's a lot of comments that come in. I, and just know, I, I love reading the comments, even if I don't respond right away. I, I read all of your comments, and uh, I, I always look forward to seeing what you all are saying out there. All right. Also look forward to the next upgrade. Let's go with the mushroom. I thought that was pretty good last time. I think that acid's pretty decent. I'm hoping that uh, there's a building that gives us some additional skill slots. That would be great too. It seems like there's a lot of good ones so far. Uh, this recovery is a game changer, folks. I, I gotta say. All right. Got a chest somewhere, maybe? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna take a sip here. Mm-hmm. Cheers to you out there. Hope you've got something good in your cup. Base damage up by five, or we just upgrade the hell out of stick foo 
until we get the stick flying out of the back, right? Because that was pretty solid last time. Okay. And I can tell that things are firing off a lot faster as well due to that cooldown buff that we paid for. Expensive, but, uh, you know, rightfully so. All right. Who's out there going, where the hell did March go? I mean, I, I, I'll admit, I definitely am. Let's go with the firecrackers. They do something similar to the acid going in all the directions, and I don't feel like we got to upgrade the firecrackers a whole lot. I wonder if it gets to the point where you're throwing even more than the five. That could be quite something. Plenty of room for passive upgrades. Yeah, March seemed to fly by, especially towards the end there when things got busy. And now, with it being April, it's the moment that many of us have been waiting for. You know, remember when we were enjoying that game called Witchfire? Remember Witchfire? The glorious roguelite FPS game. We played the hell out of that on the channel. Hey, there's our backslash. And then we got to a point where, you know, we saw everything. Well, the GGU update, the largest update the game has seen so far since early access release. Yeah, it's coming out April 4th. Uh, to say that I'm excited is the maybe the understatement of the year. I love that game, and I am looking so forward to getting back in and seeing more of the awesome stuff with, with all of you. We're going to have a great time playing that. You know, I feel like we've got a really decent chance against the spider. I, I, I do think that we're going to need to get some speed upgrades. Um, I would like to cool that down and see if we can get some additional projectiles. Make it even more ridiculous like we were talking. But I think if the speed capability would uh, pop up as a passive, that would be Great preparation for Wave 11 when old Nasty shows up. All right. Speaking of March, just getting the hell away from me. I have to apologize. I'm I'm running way late on the latest episode of Cheat Days with the Goat. Um, let's go with the Acid Spray. Uh, Cheat Days with the Goat is our members-only cooking show. Uh, we have done two episodes so far. It's supposed to be monthly. So far, it has not been monthly, but we've had a good time with the two episodes. Uh, I am planning a meal. I know what I'm going to do. And it's going to be epic. And then I will still give the tour of Bacon Fest that we attended in March. That was just a glorious time. Uh, if you are interested in membership, there is a link in the video description. You'll get access to egoticons that you can use in the comments section. And, of course, you'll be able to view the two episodes of Cheat Days with the Goat. Appreciate everybody that supports. 
just by hanging out here and watching the videos. Uh, that allows us to do the giveaways that we do. Base damage up by five. So we, we haven't seen the additional projectile yet, but uh, I'm, I'm still, still hopeful. Okay, I kind of think we should save this. How about you? We know there's going to be a gigantic nasty coming at some point. I, I just think we're better off saving it for the big spider. We gotta get this dude. I'm gonna roll right next to him with the acid. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, there it is. Yes. Boy, I was hoping that was the case. Let's take a sip here. Okay. Cheers to even more TNT. Yeah, that that really comes in handy, I gotta tell ya. Oh, look who's here. Okay. Look who's here. All right, we're going to do this. And we're absolutely going to do that. We'll grab this guy. Oh, outstanding. And we're just going to hope for the best here. We've got a decent amount of health still. Speaking of health, great to see that. Uh, it is very easy to lose the mouse, lose sight of the mouse in this game. I am playing keyboard and mouse. I don't know if uh, they've set up gamepad controls or not. Shame on me for not being able to tell you. This is looking pretty good so far. Uh, let's go, oh boy, projectile speed. I don't think we need that as much. I am gonna go with the cooldown reduction on our beating stick. Oh wow, that was great. You know, I think there's advantages to being able to take this boss down quickly because, of course, you know, the further you go in waves, uh, the harder the enemies are going to get. And I would think from a volume standpoint, uh, you know, probably more of them in, in the area, right? We're getting really close here on this boss. Um, I'm going to go with just another 10% right across the board. There it is. All right, so we took out the big nasty. But the level gate has still not opened up to us. Let's grab this. Ooh. Okay. It's a threefer. Cooldown reduced. Let's do that. I mean, that's that's our that's our best skill, probably. Now, if we could get the health bar back to something more decent than where it's at now, maybe we could last however long 
this continues to go on for. I'm, I'm really not sure. Uh, boy. Um, I mean, this could be really good. Let's do that. It does look like the horde is slowing down just a little bit. Like, we're, we're keeping up with it again. Whereas before, I I really don't think we were. Oh, God. All right, I spoke too soon, maybe. All right, come on. Come on. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, uh, it, it was it was a good outing over. I know I'm counting myself out, but I I just I I can see what's going to happen. My my crystal ball is saying go. There's there's not much time now. Say your goodbyes, go. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You were eating. Ooh. Bug zapper is that? Is bug zapper? cast out colony garlic it certainly looks like it could be doesn't it and a cafe oh my god of all things of all things okay we're gonna go build a cafe because because of course we are how dare you all right we're gonna stick with uh stick with old blue here and I think, well, let's see how big the cafe is. Let's make sure we can build one. Plus 5% speed when built. The cafe. Okay. I think a cafe would be, well, let's see. Would a cafe be really nice over here? Yeah, because, I mean, they're, they're going to need the water from the well, right? That, that yummy well water coffee. Yes. Okay. All right. So we got that. I don't want any foliage. Uh, all right, that's gonna do it. Let's uh, let's go visit the coffee shop and see what we got going on here. How about a how about a quick latte? Okay, yes. It's Cinnamona. Hiya. How about a liquid boost to turn things up a notch? Yes. How how about a liquid boost? What are we talking about here? Plus five max health. This is really cool. This is really, really neat. Ladybug latte. What do you think that tastes like? Yance Ambrosia. Ear, oh boy. Earwig espresso. I gotta tell you, I, I really hate earwigs with a passion, man. I actually, I, I got pinched by one as a kid and it, I'm still scarred from it. That said. I'm drinking that espresso. Oh, wonderful. So these must be permanent, I'm thinking. Right? That's great. Okay. I like the options that we have so far here. And I, I know, I have I have officially stacked shit on top of each other. And, you know, that's just kind of how the GOAT does. Uh, if, if you've been with me for other games that include building, you know that I am great at making a mess of the community, right? Not not our community, but the, the game community. It just it, it, it kind of is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, this would be worth doing. Yeah, expensive, but very worth it. Uh, let's do this, and let's do a Magnesis, and let's do something with recovery. How about that? Folks, it's a fun little game, I think. Um, it's been great hanging out again. Uh, we are giving away a handful of copies of Cast Out Colony. Uh, if you would like to get in on our Rated G video giveaway, you know the kind, uh, be subscribed and leave a comment. And uh, I'll thank you in advance for helping us get to our target of 200 giveaways for 2024. We can do these because of support from folks like you, the folks that watch the videos. I know, 
advertisements. I know, I know. But we're doing cool stuff because of that. And uh, we got folks that are members and, and contributing that way as well. So uh, thank you to all of you. Let's do this again sometime soon. We'll get together out on the Goat Force Gaming channel. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because uh, we always do. And we'll give away a video game at least once a week. You take care out there. We'll see you again soon.